So I got interrupted in my video. Okay, so I want to go back in time and play this video for y'all. And let's see here. So we're doing a little flashback. Here he he's changing his he says here he hates Trump and you know blah blah blah. What is your reaction here, to hearing just, what Donald Trump We're just gonna fast their forward. Efforts, your slant their sacrifice you're marginalizing what they're trying to do to make the world a better place you know how you win this war you side with people in the faith who reject this ideology which is 99 percent and you know how you make america great again tell donald trump to go to hell okay so that was his expression he said that i don't know when that was his feelings on trump okay and then here comes the kavanaugh case you know and He's defending uh, Trump's nomination because Trump picked him, you know. You know, six remaining circuit judges who have been nominated by Trump, and Kavanaugh was one of them. And here he is, you know, you know, defending Kavanaugh. Now, Kavanaugh case was a Me Too movement. What they did there is uh, Kavanaugh was you know, I guess, pro Roe versus Wade, I guess. But I know from the background, when you pull the curtain back, people, Miss Ford was a front woman for the Me Too movement to attack this man because they were worried about their funding for abortion through Planned Parenthood. Now, Miss Ford's background is doing research on autistic children. If you really do a little bit of research on her, Okay. So when these things pop up, what you got to do is you got to do research on these people who are making these accusations and shit. Now, does it happen in real life? Sure. But, you know, I mean, this is politics, of course. But I just wanted to point this out about my favorite senator. How he changes his tune. He's not consistent. How he hates Trump and then all of a sudden he's defending what he what he wants and da 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 so you know that's what I want to say just you got to review you got to watch the trend you know, song and dance man him and John McCain <clears throat> John McCain did V2K on me and this guy here did a put an implant in my eye via through the satellites in the sky and if you don't think it's real people, you better guess again because, you know, they do have technology. They do have really nasty technology that they're using to their advantage. And part of it is to depopulate. They're so special, the reptilians. Let me tell you. That's why I call it lizard news. You know? Ah, Swissy. And here's your, here's this, you know. This is all Star Wars stuff. Mom, why am I turning my son into a cy cyborg? See, right here is another Me Too movement. Black women will be the next 007. It's still the Me Too movement. What was down will go up. What was up will go down. So men will go down and women will come up. That's the Star of David. It's the Seal of Solomon. It's Jewish. So, you know, I've already done videos about this stuff, man. Flip of the switch is what they're doing on society. Jesus will go down and Lucifer will go up. You get it? Men will go down and be beta males. This is their agenda. And then the women will rise up. It's the seal of Sol it's the seal of Solomon. It's Swiss Templars. Yeah. 
Here, um, I'm going to show you something. Hold on, bear with me. I am going to show you something, kids. Yeah. Let me get to it here. To prove my point on how this is occurring on the planet. Uh, let's see here. La la la. Bear with me. We're going to find this. Okay, hold on. Okay. This is all Swiss Templar stuff coming up. I'm going to show this to you. The Seal of Solomon. And bam, I got it. Right there. Okay, so men are here. They will go down and women will rise up. Okay? Jesus will go down and Lucifer will rise up in the age of Kali Yuga. And this is all Swiss Templar stuff. If you don't believe me here, I'm going to show it to you. Swiss Templars. Which is bloodline. Okay, Seal of Solomon. See right there, 13. Okay. 12 apostles, and I believe Jesus made the 13th one. 13 Illuminati families is what it means. Okay? The bloodline on the planet. The strong genetic copper based DNA on the planet, which is the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, your Obamas, your Clintons. Um, we're talking real strong DNA, high with the uh, copper based DNA. High. 